Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. The Jordan Linden incident is now gathering momentum. It's growing and it's starting to snowball and bring other people into it. Uh, I've reported before how this man uh, abused people who were some of them rather young uh, and then had to resign rather than be investigated. For some reason, he hasn't done a day in jail. Uh, But it seems then that the people who complained The people who raised the issue and wanted something done have now been punished by the SNP. We've covered this punishment as well in a video I did a couple of days ago uh, where they've been censured, uh, some of them have been suspended and some have actually been expelled. And so then uh, following that, seven members, uh, including the ones that were suspended, uh, also resigned from the party. Uh, They're bringing this to a big issue. Uh, There's now being complaints made to the police. They want a formal uh, another formal investigation that will mean that apart from the uh, the fraud investigation by Police Scotland at the moment involving the finances of the party they're now going to have uh, a sexual misconduct inquiry by the police at the same time people will be arrested questioned uh, and dragged around for entirely different reasons nothing ever goes well when the SNP involved themselves in cover-ups and secrecy. Tracy Carragher tried to kick the uh, the whole problem, bury it, you know, under the carpet. That failed. And now this uh, this has come out. And the people, like I say, who, uh, who actually did complain were accused of bringing the party into disrepute. No mention, of course, uh, of Jordan Linden. Uh, and so we'll have a look at this article now because uh, Hamza Youssef himself is now being dragged into it. He is the latest victim of it. He is asked to make a decision to bring these people back into the party and to deal with those who tried to cover it up. He won't, of course, because he hasn't got the ability. He hasn't got the balls to do it and he hasn't got the authority because people will just ignore him. But it's worth watching anyway. So here goes. Have a look at this. So Hamza Youssef dragged into the row surrounding North Lanarkshire SNP and the sex pest Jordan Linden. First Minister has been urged by Tory Deputy Leader Megan Gallagher to intervene in the row surrounding the SNP, which has seen seven councillors quit the party. And in fact, in North Lanarkshire now, there are no SNP councillors. They're all effectively uh, independents uh, and they are not happy with the SNP and they're not happy with Tracy uh, Carragher, who uh, who's basically hid all of this and tried to uh, whitewash it uh, and make sure it didn't happen because it would be embarrassing for the party yet again for the truth to come out. How the SNP must fear the truth. Uh, This is why they're so secretive and they lie so much. Uh, Hamza Youssef has been told to prove that the SNP is in for a fresh start under his stewardship by reinstating the seven councillors who quit the party after whistleblowing about their sex pest colleague, Jordan Linden. Uh, We previously told, and I've done several videos on this now, um, how the two nationalist councillors had been expelled from the party for bringing it into disrepute Uh, after they accused the leadership in North Lanarkshire of not investigating complaints about the former leader. So according to the SNP, you bring the party into disrepute by making complaints that there is a sex pest, a predator within the party. Uh, and, And instead of having that dealt with, You are the one punished for daring to raise the issue that might be embarrassing for the party. But not half as embarrassing as the leader of the council being one of them. Basically being a predatory pervert who likes to inappropriately touch young men. Uh, Anyway, Lyndon quit his role as the council leader in disgrace after admitting to making a teenager uncomfortable through his sexual advances. He then resigned from the SNP after more accusations were made, meaning the party did not probe them. Uh, But it's not the party's job to probe them. It is the party's job to immediately call in the police and have them investigate this man. And did they do that? No. No, they didn't. And of course they didn't, because that would be rather embarrassing for them to admit that they had a predatory male in the uh, in the party and they were not prepared to deal with it. Uh, Seven councillors wrote to the National Secretary Lorna Finn about his replacement, Tracy Carragher. Uh, She refused to look into complaints, but they ended up being disciplined themselves. And the atmosphere in the group had been described as toxic by one of the complainants, Paul DiMassio, who was expelled from the party this week, and there is a picture of him. Uh, Megan Gallagher, Deputy Leader of the Scottish Tories, has written to Mr Youssef to demand 
he intervenes in the scandal and prove that he wants to eradicate Slees from the party. No, he can't. He'd lose three quarters of the people in the in the in in power. Half his bloody MSPs would be gone if he got rid of Slees. Uh, there's also been accusations that the complaints were blocked because senior members of the SNP group work for prominent politicians, uh, and this is it. And this is undoubtedly true. Um, they they have done this. They've hidden it. They've swept it under the carpet. They do not want this coming out. And of course now uh, it's the Streisand effect. Their attempts to cover this up and to block it have made it so much worse. It is now being covered nationally. It is a big issue. And Hamza Yousaf is sitting there with his fingers in his ears going, la la la, I can't hear you, rather than doing what a real leader would do, which is to tackle it head on, find out who's done what, and make sure heads roll. And then make sure that these seven that complained and who were thrown out of the party are invited back and congratulated for having the strength of character to raise the issue. Because otherwise, the next person who is abused will think, twice before doing anything about it will not dare raise the issue and the, and the person doing it the predator doing it will continue to get away with it and will get worse and worse and that is effectively what they're doing leader miss carragher works for part-time for both kirsten oswald and fulton mcgregor kirsten oswald definitely needs to be picked up and questioned by the police over the finances she is the gatekeeper to those accounts uh, and Fulton McGregor, uh, oh, sorry, Alan Masterton works for Jamie Hebben and Stuart MacDonald. Uh, councillors Paul DiMascio and David Crichton were expelled from the SNP group at a disciplinary hearing last Tuesday night, while Beth Bowdo, Jerry Brennan, Greg Lennon, Barry McCluskey were all suspended for six months. They then quit. Uh, Cameron McManus is awaiting a suspension sanction. He also quit. So they've all gone from the group and they you know, all indicated that they're going to do so. Miss Gallagher, who was a member of the North Lanarkshire Council before becoming an MSP, called on Mr Yousaf to finally show leadership and intervene. Um, and of course, they won't. Uh, and there's, uh, there's Megan Gallagher. Um, and she said that his job as leader of the party would be to investigate this, get those people back in, find out what's happening, find out this Carragher woman, very clear, not Gallagher, Gallagher and Carragher, but the Carragher woman, the Tracy Carragher, and fire her. She needs to go. If she has covered this up and she's aided and assisted the um, the sexual molestation of a young man by someone senior in that council. Uh, and if she's done that, she's as guilty as him. And they both need to be investigated by the police and prosecuted. Uh, she said the SNP leadership group on North Lanarkshire is a moral vacuum. It is filth. It is sleaze. It is disgusting. She said, and it's time for Hamza Yousaf to intervene and to stand up for those whistleblowers in his party who are inexplicably being punished. The First Minister has to reinstate the seven councillors who refuse to tolerate attempts to cover up the Jordan Linden scandal. It is disgusting cabal who tried to hush this up who ought to be punished. And she is right. Um, the people who cover this up are not just covering up the problem that they've had, but they are exacerbating the problems yet to come because others will see that they can do it, do this, they can get away with it and they will be protected by the party. And that is not the message that needs to be sent. Hamza Yousaf needs to show some leadership and stand up for integrity. The trouble with that sentence is it's got two words in there, leadership and integrity. And those two words can never, ever be applied to Hamza Yousaf. He said this, or she said, this problem extends beyond North Lanarkshire. Guarantee it. It will be nationwide. Uh, we saw it when former SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford shamefully sided with the disgraced MP Patrick Grady rather than with his victim in another sexual misconduct case. This is the problem. These people are all multi back scratchers. They sit in their circle jerk. They look after each other and nobody cares about the victims. They only can be concerned about how the party looks. Meanwhile, the poor victims go to the wall and they protect the predators. Hamza Yousaf needs to stamp out the immoral culture that too often leads to senior SNP figures putting the party's image ahead of doing the right thing. And sadly, I fear this party first mentality is ingrained within the SNP. It certainly is. There's other things that are going to come out. Uh, it's telling that several of the leadership group in the North Lanarkshire Party, uh, North Lanarkshire are party staffers employed by SNP MPs and MSPs whose first instinct is party loyalty. And there is the disgusting piece of human filth who started it all with his touchy-feely ways 
on uh, people who didn't want him going anywhere near them. But he looks the sort that would have to come on to people and touch them up because I don't think he'd be capable of getting someone on his own good looks and charm. Uh, what a predator. Uh, this has to end. For the sake of future potential victims, the First Minister must act decisively and disown this shameful trait of deceit and cover-up within the SNP. But that is the SNP. Deceit, cover-up, lies, secrecy. That is the SNP to the core. Uh, Tracy Carragher, SNP group leader in North Lanarkshire, disputed the claims from the resigned councillors. Well, of course she does, because she cannot... Uh, admit that she is wrong. She cannot admit that she is protecting a predator. He said, the group has received resignations and regrettably we accept them. Uh, we do not, however, accept the revisionist view of events that is being claimed by those who left. In that case, why did Jordan uh, Linden leave? Why have other people come forward? Why have many people come forward with claims about his disgusting acts? You are trying to cover it up and now you've been caught out and you've got nowhere to go. So you're doubling down on the lies and bullshit that you're spreading, Tracy Carragher. We know. We can tell you're lying. Uh, she says, as councillors, we all need to draw a line under this bickering. No, no, no. When you say draw a line under means I've been really embarrassed. I've been caught out. We need to move on and not let's, let's put an end to it. No, the line does not need to be drawn. The police need to investigate and the heads must roll and they must start with Tracy Carragher's. Uh, and so there we are. So this this predator has been allowed to get away with it. He's been covered up. He's been protected by the party and the very people who drew this to the people's attention, who raised the issue and they're the ones being um, punished. And now Hamza Yousaf have been dragged in and he has now got to make a stance. He's got to stand up. He's got to say where he lies uh, is he with the side of the victim or is he or is he on the side of the predator and it's a tough call for him it really is because if he if he sides with the predator he's finished and if he sides for the victim he's admitting the party has a problem i shall come up leaders often have hard decisions to make and it is by those decisions that they are judged Hamza Yousaf has made a lot of decisions since he's become leader. Um, not the word you'd accurately describe him as. And none of those decisions have been the right decisions. And I suspect that he has another opportunity here to do the right thing. And I suspect he will not do the right thing. He will make another bad decision. He will not get involved. He will not get rid of Tracy Carragher. He will not uh, back the uh, the seven councillors that have uh, basically been thrown out of the party and that will be a mistake and it will come back and haunt him but then he's had so many mistakes he must be used to them by now but to not do the decent thing deliberately i mean that actually tells you more about the man i think than just about anything else he's ever done a lot of the things he's got wrong are quite naturally wrong because he's rather stupid but this is a moral decision that he's got to make and that will be his final judgment. Anyway, I shall stop now. Thank you very much for listening. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like, leave a share. Leave a share, I keep saying leave a share. Please share the video. Uh, but especially leave a like, that's the important one. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and just don't get involved in Scottish politics. Goodbye.